Available now. Link below. Brace yourselves, America, for the truth that will shake the foundations of the January 6th narrative. In a world where sensationalism often trumps facts, a bold revelation has emerged, disrupting the Democrats' carefully crafted tale. The mainstream media has been loudly trumpeting the accusations of Cassidy Hutchinson, a star witness handpicked by none other than Liz Cheney herself. Now, Hutchinson claimed that on that fateful day, President Trump violently seized control of his own vehicle, the Beast, in an alleged fit of rage. Now, this dramatic story, served up as irrefutable truth, has now been discredited by the driver of Trump's motorcade himself. The indulgent in the indulgent political theater with Democrats eagerly fabricating facts, it's now been exposed. So stay tuned as we unravel the web of lies and reveal the shocking testimony that blows the Democrat narrative wide open. You don't want to miss my final thought on this explosive development. Now, just like the Democrats fabricated stories, your power bill keeps hitting record highs with no sign of slowing down. Some companies have shocking $13 million in unpaid bills, but there is a solution. Thousands are turning to a magical device to slash the electricity costs and beat the greedy utility companies. It's like a truth bomb against the lies and this compact energy saver that optimizes your home power. Just as the driver's testimony exposes the Democrats' deception, this little device unveils the path to incredible savings. So don't let the utility companies drain your wallet like the January 6th committee drained the truth. Experience a 65% discount on this power-saving marvel at don'twastepower.com. That's don'twastepower.com your armor against rising energy costs. Now, a grand orchestration of falsehoods, Democrats have set up Donald Trump in a twisted tale of malevolence that turned out to be nothing but a made-up story. Trump was painted as a villain, a crazed, power-drunk figure who assaulted an innocent member of the Secret Service, yet the truth, now emerging, launched a devastating blow to these fabrications. And Democrats, it appears, have been both judge and executioner in a game of political theatrics, puppeteering false testimonies under oath and serving, as the, pub serving the public a platter of deceit. Cassidy Hutchinson, the Democrat star witness, claimed under oath that Trump grabbed the steering wheel of his motorcade vehicle known as the Beast and physically assaulted a Secret Service agent. Here is the testimony now called into question. Watch angry response to that. Um, Tony described him as being irate. The president said something to the effect of, I'm the effing president, take me up to the Capitol now. To which Bobby responded, sir, we have to go back to the West Wing. The president reached up towards the front of the vehicle to grab at the steering wheel. Mr. Engel grabbed his arm said, sir, you need to take your hand off the steering wheel. We're going back to the West Wing. We're not going to the Capitol. Mr. Trump then used his free hand to lunge towards Bobby Angle. And Mr. when Mr. Renato had recounted this story to me, he had motioned towards his clavicles. And was Mr. Angle in the room as Mr. Renato told you this story? He was. However, the voice of truth rings out louder than the clamor of their lies. The driver of Trump's motorcade has come forward testifying that Trump never lunged for the steering wheel or physically accosted the agents, contradicting one of the most sensational and hotly disputed elements of Hutchinson's testimony. The driver stated, I did not see him reach. He never grabbed the steering wheel. I didn't see him, you know, lunge or try to get into the front seat. You know, what stood out was the irritation in his voice more than his physical presence. The first-hand testimony directly contradicts Cassidy Hutchinson's story and the former January 6th Select Committee's narrative. Now, it's important to note that the transcript of the driver's testimony was never released publicly by the House January 6th Committee. They entered into agreement with the Secret Service to avoid disclosing sensitive information. However, this delay in releasing the driver's transcript raises suspicions of a cover-up. Now, take a look as Representative Loudermilk dismantles the Liz Cheney-led narrative. Watch. You confirmed to us that the videotapes of Cassidy Hutchinson, the ones where she's now changing her testimony through the errata, that they are missing, they are gone? That is true. I can confirm that. And all of the videotapes of all depositions are gone. Um, again, we found out about this early in the investigation when I received a call 
uh, from someone who was looking for some information off one of the videotapes. And we started searching and we had none. I wrote a letter to Benny Thompson asking for them, and he confirmed that they did not preserve those tapes. He didn't feel that they had to, but according to House rules, you have to preserve any data and information and documents that are used in a uh, uh, an official proceeding, which they did. They actually aired portions of these tapes on their televised hearings, which means they had to keep those. Now, Republicans are calling out the committee's bias and selective promotion of Hutchinson's version of events while hiding the driver's contradictory testimony. Representative Loudermilk, who has been leading the House GOP effort to investigate the committee's work, said that although the select committee has had this crucial information, they still promoted Ms. Hutchinson's third-hand version of events in their final report. Now listen as Donald Trump responds to John Solomon on the recent admission that the story was completely made up. Watch. Well, the story was false and so ridiculous that I would grab these young, strong guys sort of indicating around the neck. I, I don't even know if you'd be able to do it because they have a lot of things in between the drivers in the back, you know, like steel than various other things. And uh, I would imagine it would be very hard to do. But the whole concept of me doing it, it, these were made up fabricated stories and they got tremendous play. And actually the good news is reporters didn't for the most part believe them, but they did write them. They did write them. Who would think, and you know, I said, I think would let's go down to the Capitol. And the Secret Service very nicely said, sir, really better for you to go back to the White House. It really is. You know, we're not prepared to go down there. And I understood that, and there was no big argument, nothing. But to think that I would start choking out, grabbing the steering wheel, I don't know <laughs> if that's physically possible because of the, you know, the, the barriers, uh, what's in front of you, yeah, the barrier. But but to grab the steering wheel, and I was rebuffed, and then I went for the other guy's neck. I mean, this is crazy. These people. And they make this stuff up. Now, I understand that she's changed a whole lot of her testimony because they found it to be very uh, not credible she, to put it. She nicely. filed an errata. Yeah, but made all sorts of changes on an errata sheet, which is very rare yeah, for a witness to do. Yeah, massive changes. You know? Yeah, they are big changes. Right. Changes Mess, in substance. Because she was concerned. Now, do you have her original testimony we and do. the new testimony? We have. We've done a lot of reporting well, there's a, on that. There's a tremendous, there's a, I heard somebody tell me there's a tremendous difference between what she originally said and the new. And the reason is because it was made up. It was made up. The truth, my fellow Americans, is that Trump is innocent. The story was a sham and Trump was set up. As Democrats' falsehoods crumble, America looks forward to a newer, stronger resolve and Trump 2024, a future not riddled with manipulation and deceit, but led instead by a leader unjustly accused, a leader standing tall and unbroken, a leader ready to reclaim his rightful place. The discredited January 6th committee was a joke from the start, a one-sided, thoroughly skewed version of what actually happened that day. Liz Cheney, now voted out of office, continues to make sanctimonious appearances on left-leaning outlets decrying the alleged dangers of Donald Trump. But one thing is clear, she and the rest of the Thankfully, disbanded committee cannot be trusted to tell the truth. Democrats have lied in their desperate attempts to vilify an innocent man. Bear witness to the truth, America, and brace yourselves for Trump 2024, the man that they tried to tear down based on false claims and dramatized testimonies will return stronger than ever. Enough is enough. It is time to set the record straight once and for all. Trump was set up, caught in the whirlwind of a made-up story, a web of intricate lies spun by Democrats. The twisted narrative of Trump grabbing the wheel of his very own motorcade, assaulting a Secret Service agent in a fit of rage, has been proven a complete fable. So let it be known, the silent and innocent victims of this character assassination, President Trump, remain just that, innocent. But Democrats lied. The testimony under oath from the very driver of the beast annihilated this baseless tale. So folks, it's a new dawn, a new era, and Trump 2024 is the rallying cry. Unfazed by the deceptions of the past, we march towards the future with the truth as our shining light. Let the orchestrated falsehood crumble under the weight of incontrovertible facts and do not be swayed by the untruths. Don your armor and fact-checking of intellectual diligence. Stand tall with unwavering resolve and say it loud and clear, Trump 2024. If you got value from this report, tap subscribe. My final thought is next. America, the truth has prevailed and the Democrats' lies have been exposed.
The January 6th committee star witness, Cassidy Hutchinson, spun a tale of President Trump's alleged assault in the beast. But the driver's testimony has shattered that narrative, and it's clear now the Democrats will stop at nothing to destroy Trump, even if it means fabricating stories and misleading the public. But we, the American people, will not be fooled. We stand with Trump, a leader unjustly accused and vilified by those who seek to undermine our republic. As we look to the future, let us rally behind Trump 2024, a movement built on truth, strength, and the unwavering spirit of the American people. Together, we will restore integrity to our nation and show the world that lies cannot prevail over truth. Congratulations, you made it to the end of the video. Now keep up your quest for truth with this next news report. And if you found our channel enlightening, join the millions who agree with you. Tap subscribe. Thank you for watching the Next News Network.